So guys, we've already, I've took the time to get the trawl net all laid out. We got the net out and we're trawling along. Teamwork makes the dream work, right, Steph? All right, we got the bag in. Oh. We had an audience. I don't know if you guys can see these dolphins right here all around us. We'll take that into consideration. But, uh, look at that. Wow, we nice shrimp. Them jumbo shrimp. That's what them fellas are after. But guess what, fellas? We are too. So we got these. We got these. Look at it. Wow. And the, the stuff that we get to see out here is so amazing. I can see one, two, three, four, five. So here we go, guys. The day is the start of the new shrimp trawl season here in South Carolina. And wanting to take you guys along shrimp trawling with my wife and I, Stephanie, out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina. And we've already got everything in the boat ready to go. We are going to be pulling a 25 foot trawl net with 18 by 40 inch doors. We have got plenty of ice and our cooler to keep our catch from going down. Drinks, our pull ropes, anchors, buoys, all the stuff that we're gonna need to go out here trolling with you guys today. Let's get this old Bronco crunk up and let's get out here. I get a lot of comments about it. It's a 1996 model with a four inch lift kit on the suspension and four inch on the body and 37, just sitting on 37. I'm one of the small guys. I'm, I'm one of those guys that, you know, just doing it the small way. We're in a 17 foot sea hunt. We're pulling a 25 foot crawl net. And we're just hoping for the best. Hope the roast shrimp are still out here in this area. Right now, the, we're coming out of uh, the time of the year where the shrimp have been spawning and that's why this area right here hasn't been open yet. They've opened a little up area offshore just for the shrimpers to get started. But now we're into the full shrimp crawl season here in South Carolina. Uh, they do research to make sure that the, you know, the shrimp work through most of the spawn. But there's still roast shrimp around. We're hoping because they'll be bigger. Let's get out here and get this net out and get to work. I took the time to get the trawl net all laid out. This, this is our tail bag, which I have a buoy attached to the fish eye so I can go back and pull the net when we're trawling. Got our doors hooked up. One thing you always want to make sure the weights are going to run on the bottom. Your trawl door weight. I've got this line, main line, marked in red, so I know it's on the right side of the back of the boat. Got some buoys across the top of the net that's gonna make it buoyant and wanna float. And we also are running a tickle chain on the bottom of the net that hits the bottom and makes the you know, net jump up, pop up, and start collecting in our net, hopefully. So we're about to pull this net off the beach, guys. 
I'm gonna get this boat turned around and what we're gonna do once I'm set up like this, I get the boat turned around and I've got this right here already ready to hook up to our block, which is gonna be on the back of the boat. And that's what we're gonna pull by. So I'll just manhandle the boat, spin it around and get hooked up. One thing you want to always make sure you know that the tide, if the tide is coming in or going out because you can get yourself in a mess uh, with the outgoing tide and it can get stuck. Well, right now we are on the incoming tide, so that was good for us. And I'll get us spun around real quick. This sloping bank helps a lot right here on this bank where we were deploying this net because, you know, it's not, not a drop off and I'm able to walk out here. It's only a couple foot deep. So when we take off, the motor's gonna be barely clear in the bottom. And we're gonna to try to just ease on out. And you can see the deep shape of our pull ropes and everything back in the background behind. A little bit five down right here to we'll lift the motor just a hair. Let's get crunk, get it crunk up stuff. Right there. He's forward, motor down. I got a better look, better view. We got the net out and we're trawling along. Teamwork makes the dream work, right, staff? So guys, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It looks like 20 trawl boats out here, us being 21. And I think there's another one that's beaching their net on the, uh, or, putting their net out on the beach right now to come out here. So we're about to see if there's any shrimp out here today. I guarantee you that. Yeah. They are, they ain't got much chance with all these boats out here. That's right. There's a lot of water now. Ooh, we got the tail bag of this shrimp trawl net pulled in for the first time. And we got some dolphin right here around the boat. And that's one thing that we love when we come out here seeing those dolphin and stuff. But um, take a look at this now. Take a look at all the stuff that we catch in a shrimp trawl net. And I'm going to try to get this stuff out of here as fast as I can. Because we have some sharks, even stingrays and stuff like that. That dolphin, he's still playing around right now. Here we go, guys. And um, these are pretty good. And these things can be a nuisance to the shrimp trawlers. And little cow nose, uh, cow nose stingray also. Kind of square headed. Little, little shorter, barb. Short, short barb compared to a lot of the other ones. Seeing some little, you know, trout different fish and these are the shrimp and there's some of the manhaven we will keep some of that but um we're gonna get the sorting and get this stuff back in the water real quick guys wow we got some nice big white shrimp right here and that is what you know i was trying to describe to you guys that the low shrimp that's what we're after we're after those big shrimp right now this time of the year Huge. We did not get a ton 
of them, but we got a lot of uh, really nice. Make sure we get this bycatch out fast as we can, too. too bad. I am hearing that some of these guys out here, they really hit them though. They're getting a good amount. That's, that's great. That's 
part we got. Got a big, another. Got a big stingray right there. Probably gonna be another six or eight pound. You'll move that over when you get to have up so I can show him. Big stingray in there. See his barb right over there. So I'm gonna put you guys down and get them back out. Decided to try to run out here to a little bit of deeper water this go around and you know see if we can pick up a few more shrimp. Got one of these big shrimp boats out here with us and you know we were study watching out for this guy making sure we don't get in his way with this small vessel we would hate to get tangled up in his rigging he would probably drag us backwards and sink this little boat what you think stuff <laughs> yeah. what you doing answering comments uh, at the moment i'm actually Big thanks actually to our patrons that continue to help us make these videos possible for everybody to watch because without them, you know, it would be a lot tougher. I would say that, right, Steph? Yeah, that's right. We're 23 foot right now of water. 120 foot of trawl lines to the net, so. We're capable of doing it. We just dropped our speed somewhere down to about two and a half mile an hour and letting that net settle right down to the bottom, hopefully. Those doors, they, they're pretty heavy. I would estimate these doors here to be weighing at least 40 pounds a piece. Then you got the tickle chain, which is another maybe 50 pounds. So all together with the two doors and that, you know, 150 pound of weight helping hold this net down. Third pull, I think we did a little bit better. We trawled a little longer, probably about 45 minutes and ran into some deeper water. And we did pretty good on this one. So let's take a look at our catch real quick. The tide is high now and the water is beginning to turn around and fall out. We're right into the high tide. Just a few minutes behind, really. But anyhow. Big horseshoe crab. Ribbon fish. Checking to make sure I don't see any stingrays before I stick my hand down in there to get this fella. So we've shown you guys a horseshoe crab before. Several times, especially for the shellers, y'all see them on the beach. I'm hoping they that when this water begins to move again, maybe the shrimping will pick up and get even better, but you know, We'll just have to pull, pull, pull and see, right, Steph? That's right. Oh, yeah. He's flouncing around. And I've got that Swim bag tied buddy. back up. We're going to just deploy our bag. And we always take that buoy that I showed you guys, the rope, and always just wrap it here. Easy for us to deal with the net. It holds us in place with those doors and stuff laying on the bottom. And we're going to go back around to our uh, pull lines now where the other anchor and buoy is to uh, get this thing pulled up and get back to pull. Yep, so we can get that sorted and get all them little fishies back the in the door. water. Not too bad on that pull, Steph. We had probably about, you know, 15 or so pounds of the big row shrimp and uh, what? How many pounds of the smaller shrimp you think, Steph? Thirty pounds of shrimp in that pool. Just half of them were small. But we're gonna 
gonna keep on pulling. We're gonna pull, 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 pull. That's what we're doing today. See how my red line right there, that's what I was telling you guys about earlier. I just painted one of them so I know it's going to the right door over there. coming around and we'll make this fourth pull on this trawl net and see what we got. How about that little stick we got rigged up there with that piece of copper wire? Duct tape fixes everything, right? We got a good catch and a big stingray in there. Not bad, not bad. And a big horseshoe crab. Full pull, not bad. And I'm trying to stay away from those barbs on those stingray tails, guys. If you ever out messing around, make sure you don't let one of those guys get you. And if you do, you better get into some hot water really, really quick. It'll numb the paint. I don't know why it does it, but I found that out from one of our friends and an incident that I had. We'll give you a quick little look. And we're going to get to sorting this real quick. Nice, nice catch. That's all. We ain't got much time, guys. We're uh, in a rush to get our yeah. net and stuff back in and get, be as productive as we can. So we're going to click off with it and get this thing tied up and back the truck. So we definitely hadn't started this day off too bad. We'll throw this little bit of bycatch here. Take a little look at these beautiful seagulls flying all around. And look out here how calm it is, guys. It is all but as slick as glass. And I think I hear the sounds of freedom going over us here in Beaufort, South Carolina. Probably one of the fighter jets, right? We 
we're surrounded by these dolphins. They're just everywhere. And they're eating our they, trail. Yeah, they've been following along eating our catch. We got to get away from these guys. <laughs> they're beautiful to see, but uh, we don't want you eating our catch. And there's one, look at them. They're all over the top of our bag. Is that a good sign or not? I know it's a sign that they eating all our shrimp. They're gonna be all over us right here. Look at that. And this water is. Oh, I really see one right there under it. us. I hope they ain't made everything out of here already. So you get me a dolphin watch or you want me to help you? Ooh, look you at there. You might have to help me with this bag. Yeah, I see it's huge. It looks like it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Look at this bag. I hope it's shrimp. What you think? What you guys think? All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down Thank so I can help. Sure. All right, we got the bag in. Oh. We had an audience. I don't know if you guys can see these dolphins right here all around us. It was a workout getting that big bag in, wasn't it? it was. But I'll tell you what. I believe it was well worth the pull, guys. I believe this one is going to really put us where we need to be for today. Can't even but we got some big stuff in here like stingrays and stuff that make up a lot of the room. Yeah. So we'll take that into consideration. But uh, look at that. Wowee. Look there, look there. Ooh, them some nice shrimp. Nice shrimp. Them's jumbo shrimp. That's what them fellows are after. But guess what, fellows? We are too. So we got these. We got these. <laughs> Ooh, this last pool we're going to share with you guys. Yeah. Truly pure. Appreciate all you guys for coming along on our videos. Uh, ask at this time if you ain't did it yet to go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps us out. Uh, thank you so much for coming along. Thank you for all the interest in our videos. We're going to keep coming out here and show you how we do this stuff as long as we can. Never know when that day may come, right? That's right. Maybe somebody else can pick up on the paddle. This is an adult dolphin and a younger one. There we go. Nice, nice. Nice, Some nice shrimpies again. So you guys take care. We'll see you. I hear the jets again. Jets and dolphin, and be beautiful blue skies. It's been a glorious day. Catch y'all later.